In the vastness of the universe, humanity has always looked up at the night sky, pondering one question, are we alone? This seemingly simple question carries a weight that has inspired generations of thinkers, dreamers, and scientists. We live on a tiny blue planet orbiting a relatively ordinary star in the outer arm of an average galaxy. Yet as mundane as our location may seem, our desire to understand the cosmos and our place in it is far from ordinary. Today, we stand on the precipice of one of the most exciting eras in astronomical discovery. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, our understanding of the universe is expanding in ways that were once unimaginable. The James Webb Space Telescope, the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, was launched with a singular mission to peer deeper into space than any human-made instrument has ever done before. With its massive gold-plated mirrors and its state-of-the-art infrared sensors, JWST is capable of seeing light from galaxies formed over 13.5 billion years ago, not long after the Big Bang itself. But JWST isn't just about gazing at the earliest galaxies. It's also about searching for signs of life. When we talk about life beyond Earth, most of us imagine little green men, flying saucers, or perhaps some version of a highly advanced alien civilization. Yet the search for extraterrestrial life is much more nuanced than that. In reality, finding life, any life, beyond our planet would be one of the most groundbreaking discoveries in human history. But where do we even begin to look? The answer lies in exoplanets. These are planets that orbit stars other than our sun. Since the first exoplanet was discovered in the 1990s, we've identified thousands more. And with each new discovery, our curiosity only grows. Some exoplanets lie within what astronomers call the habitable zone, a region around a star where conditions might be right for liquid water to exist. This zone is often nicknamed the Goldilocks zone, because like the porridge in the famous fairy tale, it's neither too hot nor too cold. It's just right for life, at least as we understand it. But finding an exoplanet in the habitable zone is just the beginning. To understand if it can actually support life, we need to know what its atmosphere is made of. That's where JWST comes into play. With its advanced instruments, the telescope is capable of performing what scientists call spectroscopy. This means JWST can analyze the light coming from a distant planet's atmosphere to determine its chemical composition. By looking at these chemical fingerprints, we can search for biosignatures, gases like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide, that might indicate the presence of life. The search for life in the universe isn't just about finding planets that look like Earth, however. One of the most exciting aspects of JWST's mission is its ability to examine a wide variety of planetary environments. From frozen water worlds to scorching gas giants, JWST is helping scientists understand how planets form and evolve, and whether life could arise under conditions vastly different from those on Earth. It's possible that life exists in forms we haven't even imagined yet, thriving in extreme environments that seem inhospitable to us. The diversity of planets and moons in our own solar system hints at this possibility. Take Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, for example. Beneath its icy surface lies a vast ocean of liquid water, kept warm by tidal forces. Could life exist there in the dark, cold depths? Similarly, Saturn's moon Enceladus also has a subsurface ocean and has been observed spewing geysers of water vapor into space. If life exists in these oceans, it would be radically different from anything we know. JWST might not be able to directly detect life on these moons, but its ability to analyze the atmospheres of distant planets and moons could give us crucial insights into where to look closer to home. As JWST continues to collect data, the potential for new discoveries seems endless. Consider the TRAPPIST-1 system, located about 40 light years away from Earth. This system contains seven rocky planets, three of which lie within the habitable zone of their star. With JWST, scientists will be able to examine the atmospheres of these planets in detail, potentially finding signs of life or determining whether these worlds have the right conditions to support it. But what if we don't find life? Does that mean we're truly alone? Not necessarily. The absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. The universe is vast, truly, incomprehensibly vast. JWST's field of view, while incredibly powerful, 
is still just a pinprick in the grand scheme of the cosmos. There could be civilizations on distant planets, light years away, whose signals simply haven't reached us yet. Or perhaps, life exists in forms that are completely alien to us. Beings made of silicon instead of carbon, or life that thrives in the heart of a star, rather than on a rocky planet. Even if JWST doesn't find definitive proof of extraterrestrial life, its contributions to science will be immense. It will help us understand how stars form and die, how galaxies evolve over billions of years, and how the first structures in the universe came into existence. Already, the telescope has captured breathtaking images of distant galaxies, star-forming regions, and even black holes. These images don't just satisfy our curiosity, they help scientists develop models of how the universe works. Every time we see a nebula or a galaxy cluster through JWST's lenses, we're not just seeing light, we're seeing history. The light captured by the telescope has traveled for billions of years across the vacuum of space to reach us, providing a window into the past. And yet, for all of its capabilities, JWST is still just a tool, a highly sophisticated, marvelously engineered tool, but a tool nonetheless. The true magic happens when scientists analyze the data it collects and make connections that no machine could ever do on its own. The discoveries made by JWST will be a testament to human ingenuity and our insatiable desire to explore the unknown. It's this drive to explore that has led us to some of our greatest achievements. From the moment the first human looked up at the stars and wondered about the mysteries of the universe, we've been on a journey of discovery. The James Webb Space Telescope is the latest chapter in that journey, and its findings will undoubtedly shape the future of space exploration. Of course, the search for life beyond Earth isn't just about satisfying our curiosity. It's also about understanding what makes our planet special. Earth is the only place we know of where life has not only emerged but thrived. By studying other planets, we can better understand the delicate balance of factors that made life possible here. This knowledge could prove crucial as we face the challenges of climate change, resource depletion, and other global issues. The more we learn about how life might exist elsewhere, the better we can protect the fragile ecosystem we call home. But beyond the scientific and practical reasons, there's something fundamentally human about the search for life in the universe. It speaks to our deep-rooted need for connection, for a sense of belonging in the cosmos. If we find life, whether it's microbes on a distant moon or an intelligent civilization light years away, it will change everything. It will alter our understanding of who we are and our place in the universe. And even if we don't find life, the journey itself is worth it. The search pushes the boundaries of our knowledge, challenges our assumptions, and inspires future generations of scientists, engineers, and explorers. The James Webb Space Telescope is not just a tool for looking into space. It's a beacon of hope, a symbol of our never-ending quest for knowledge. As we continue to explore the cosmos, one thing is certain. The universe is far more complex, beautiful, and mysterious than we ever imagined. And with the James Webb Space Telescope leading the way, we are just beginning to uncover its secrets.